communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And be with your spirit. Face to the need to make a decision or commit ourselves to a particular course of action, we tend to postpone doing so for another day. We even have a term for this, Maniana Habe. And when the next day dawns, we are as reluctant as ever to take the decision to make a commitment. A wise Christian decides and acts for the values of God's kingdom and now. Tomorrow may be too late. As believers, we must always be prepared to encounter God who comes to us through the person we meet and the circumstances we find ourselves in. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves
mga tao were warned and made alert about it, that some evacuated. But there were many who decided to stay in their homes since they were already used to experiencing typhoons. When Typhoon Yolanda made landfall, its strength was experienced by those directly hit. It brought winds, rains, and the storm surge, which was not expected by the people to be that intense. After the typhoon, thousands of people died. Many went missing, and many as well were injured and were left homeless. Despite the preparations, the warnings that were given, and the communications relayed, there were still many casualties. Maybe we can ask ourselves, if events like this will come, am I ready and prepared? The theme of this Sunday's liturgy is all about the reality When we talk about the end, to mag sa katapusan sa panahon, some people will feel afraid. But we feel nervous because it can come to us at any time and may happen to us in any place, in whatever way. Others maybe are challenged and encouraged to make themselves always ready. Kasama pa sa Gihon, sa Boy Scout or Girl Scout, laging handa always prepared. Yet all of us, whatever our feelings are, we will have to face this reality. And talking about the end, should let us ask ourselves, what is my aim in life? Kung saan ang tumuhong sa ako ang pinabuli? Where do I want to direct myself to? And our answer as Christians, is it kung sumusunod ni Cristo, is this. Our aim our direction in life is to be with God. Katulong kita ang tanan na ito sa iyo. And who are those people we know are with God? We call them saints. And last Sunday, at ang isaulong ang pag-istahan sa tanan ng mga santos o santa sa nami. And all of us, my dear friends, by virtue of our baptism, bihak sa atong dunya, itang tanan, each one of us is holy. We should not forget that. We should always keep that in mind. We are all holy. That is why our direction in our life is towards God. Many times Jesus exhorted his disciples to be ready to render an account of their lives. And all 
also challenges us to be alert and awake in seeking the Lord in our brothers and sisters, especially those who are in need, in people who need most of our help and attention. We are also challenged to see the Lord in our brothers and sisters. Sometimes we have a blood sa pagbalik sa pangyuko that is continue to do good works because we see Him sa matakusa sa ating isip at mundo. As Christians, we do not bring Jesus only to others, but we also encounter Him in every person we meet. And lastly, to be animated means to have an optimistic or positive outlook in our life. Our Christian life is a life that is filled with hope. Thus, we are ever joyful. Ang atong pinabuhi, Kristuhan, o sa atong pinabuhi na ulo sa pagla, maunang kita, kanunay ang mga lipay. Yes, even in the midst of difficulties, even in the midst of temptation and trials, we place our hope in the Lord. That is why we are ever joyful. Many people, especially the young, when asked how their life is going on, many would reply, boring ang ating pinabuhi ka doon. My life now is boring. Yet, if we allow them to see the value of the gift of life of the Lord, hopefully, they will be able to be become a little bit more enthusiastically excited and ever angry. On this day, my dear friends, may we not forget that we will meet the Lord, especially in this Eucharist, atong mahimama at sa ang binuong tawang dini ng Eucharistia. And we also pray for our brothers and sisters who were affected in many ways seven years ago by the super typhoon As we face present challenges daily, let us be like the wise virgins who are always ready who are always prepared for that important encounter with God. In this Mass, in this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask for the grace to be always alive, to be always alert, and to be always animated to welcome the Lord with the light and torches of a life spent in faithful service to Him. Then, sa katapusan sa ato ang pinagubi, ato ang tanamangimang with our light and lives in the journey towards heaven. Let us be afraid in this Eucharistic celebration. Amen. Let us all stand and confess our faith in our loving and merciful God. I believe in God, the Father and Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the Father and the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered and lived among us, and was crucified by the Holy Spirit. He is sent to the Lord. He is sent to the Lord. He is sent to the Lord.
obedience, show your brothers and sisters the primacy of God's kingdom over everything else. We pray. That those who despair in life, those who are burdened by weakness and sin, and those who are discouraged and pessimistic about the future, may regain trust in God, who will wipe away every tear from their eyes. We pray. Lord, that those who grieve for their departed ones may be strengthened by their hope in the life hereafter, and that those who have gone ahead of us may share the joy of the heavenly banquet. We pray. Lord, Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions.
The body of the 
Thank you. 